Yo, it's crazy. The only time you hear a bass like this in my voice is when I'm massively hungover. It's strange, it's, it's strange that it would happen. Because usually it sounds like a prepubescent 12 year old. Don't judge me. Bro, I don't know what got into my brain to try vodka for the first time in like, I don't even know how long. And being a bourbon and whiskey drinker, that just throws off my entire central nervous system. I was shivering in the middle of the night like a dope fiend. <laughs> But we gotta make content, especially when you got a delivery of a bunch of hybrids that are gonna have so much hype behind them, it's not gonna even be funny. Now these are hybrids I did not request, these were sent over to me. Duo was like, yo, I think this is right up your wheelhouse, let me know what you think. As usual, they'll find out when you do. So here are the four fragrances that were sent over to me and I looked them up on the website to see what hybrids they are. They're definitely up my wheelhouse, but are they good though? Let's roll my music so we can check out four of, I guess, their latest hype fragrances to see if they're any good. The combo sound crazy though. Blessing one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C to the U to the V today. Yo, I love the masculinity, finally, a little bit of bass in my voice. You get me talking to me with that voice. I'm like 62 years old, going on 85 years old, body-wise, it's fantastic. I usually look like a melted candle from Beauty and the Beast with my tits just hanging out, but I feel vibrant, young, youthful, and with a little bass, so like I could rap to a shorty that isn't going to give me the time of day. So I'm gonna just start selecting these randomly. I haven't smelled them, they didn't even send me caps for these fucking things, they just wanted me to check them out, so you want my opinion? Well, we're gonna do it on a public forum. All right, so I'm gonna start off with one that obviously I think I'm going to like, which is Royal Chariot of Tux, because it has tuxedo in it. Not only that, it's essentially a mixture of Parfums de Marley Layton with tuxedo. I feel like I've smelled a hybrid like that before. Could be the Russians poisoning my body with their vodka. Tonight you party with us, yes? Now keeping it a stack, I didn't look up any notes. I just wanted to see what hybrids they were so I can prepare myself mentally for what to expect, but it's all about the scent. I really don't care what the notes are, especially in these clone fragrances. I just wanna know if this shit is is good, is it exclusive, is it different, and does it get my nipples hard? So the star right now is Leighton, but Tuxedo's not far behind. Wow, that is beautiful actually, whoa, holy really shit. Wow. Smooth, warm, you still get that crisp apple kind of pie sensation, you get the patchouli from the Tuxedo, you get that sweetness, you still get that gentlemanly swag, this is definitely going out. This has that dressed up swaggy dude type scent. This is good, this is very good actually. Damn, now that's really fucking good, holy shit. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That shit woke me up. My octaves are changing, my boys. That shit woke me up. Oh, this is what we're doing? This is how we're starting? I knew starting with the tux was the right idea. That is gorgeous. Warm, apple, ambery, patchouli, spicy, rich. There's a little bit of a dirty oud in there. It has like an exclusive type oud essence in that shit. That is a banger. Hey, I got it good. That is gonna sell out 1000%. That is amazing, actually. That is very fucking good. Mm. Oh, Boost Pimpies are coming too. I, I love this sweater, it's so comfy. This has become like my go-to signature comfy sweater, but this, the lint from my shaved fucking arms so I can finally show off my tattoos because I can't show off my body because I look like shit. That is so fucking good. Oh yeah, uh, I don't care about the notes, fuck. Oh man, this is a prop. This is like a date night scent problem. Layton was the opening star and it's starting to now switch up to kind of tuxedo taking over those reins. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this like a fucking eight, seven. This is phenomenal this is very fucking good so royal what is it so royal chariot of the tux eight seven that is fucking that's that's probably gonna be the best one next one now this was an interesting combination definitely sparks my interest this is a black widow and initial side effect clone again with these long ass names black widows collateral damage i'll give you collateral damage with these stupid names all right black widow collateral damage which is initial side effect which is amazing and black widow which is a fucking legend in the space how do these two blend together very sweet. Ooh, I'm getting like a very strong cherry maraschino. I just cracked the bottle open. It's sitting in that vat of syrup that it's been for the last 28 years. Ooh, very punchy, sweet cherry. Stings the nostrils. Amber, not much spice off this test strip. I can't get over the really jarring sweetness of that maraschino cherry. It's starting to calm down a bit. I'm getting a bit of a sandalwood essence right under the maraschino cherry. There's a little bit of a, maybe ginger? It smells like a dusty ginger vibe. It's just very sweet. Now what I'm not getting off the skin is kind of that boozy, chocolatey mysteriousness that I like from Black Phantom. I, I'm getting more side effect than anything. On the test strip, I mean, I'm gonna fucking run out of skin. I don't wanna, I got so many fragrances to 
to test out today. The skin's gonna be flooded with Dua. Still same energy. Sharp, sweet, maraschino cherry. There's a little bit more sandalwood that comes off the skin. That helps calm down that sweetness of that cherry essence. I don't have much of the darkness of the Killian. It's sweeter, it, it, it leans more onto the gourmand space with that cherry-ish note. Now the sweetness is also feeling like it's combining the two cherries. The regular cherry, which is not maraschino, just kind of sweet and sour, and then that maraschino sweet syrupy kind of set. I'm gonna give this like a 6-8. It's not bad at all, but you gotta be open to like a lost cherry type essence mixed with like an initial side effect with maybe the most minor black phantom. And this is that opening I made. I haven't dried it down fully. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll re-smell the wrist and see if it's changed. Next one. Now the next one is a tribrid. It's like the fuckboy conglomerate. It's Caribbean Casino Elixir, which is Virgin Island Water, Aventus, and Baccarat Rouge 540. This is, uh, there's no way that this is gonna be bad. It's just gonna be the ultimate fuckboy. It's like putting Voltron together or Transformers. Oh, Only BR540 is the opening star here, which is unusual. Generally, Aventus likes to be the star and just present itself on top. Baccarat Rouge 540 is the one who's coming up on top. Baccarat Rouge 540, Virgin Island Water, Aventus. That's how the structure is on the test trip for me at this point. Not exciting, because I kind of expected it. I knew that this was gonna be good. It's just a no-brainer good. You're combining these three fragrances which are some of the biggest in the fucking world in the niche there's no way that's gonna really smell bad so you're getting freshness you're getting that cotton candy musky sweetness and then you're getting that pineapple bergamot which goes along with that virgin island water they kind of play awfully nicely of each other and then you're throwing that baccarat rouge 540 dna in the mix adding a little bit more body a sprinkle more sweetness on top of it it's just kind of a win-win it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that this shit's gonna work it absolutely works it's just not dynamic or different enough for me to get like uber excited about it now taking my personal opinions out of the equation is it compliment grabbing? A thousand percent. Is it mass appealing? Yes. Does it smell messy? No. Does it smell like these three fragrances were just thrown together in a vat, shook it up, and then you spray it? No. It's becoming a little bit richer off the test trip. The Aventus is definitely popping up. That bergamot and pineapple vibe is definitely making its presence more known next to the Baccarat Rouge 540, but that Virgin Island water coconutish kind of rum smell is lingering, playing its position, trying to add a little bit of element of booziness to this mix. I would give this a 7.5. It's kind of like a no-brainer. Yeah, you're absolutely going to wear this and get compliments. Super versatile signature scent. This doesn't wow me like that royal cherry at a tux. I mean, we started off extremely strong. And finally, a very weird one. And that's why I left this one for last. It has a fragrance in there that I don't like and one that has, what, no hype behind it? This one is another Blue Crater, which is a mix of MFK's Grand Soir and Polo Blue. Why? That is blasphemous! Who does that? All right, I mean, they tripping on that one. That's like a reach. Uh, that's, I'm sure that's gonna be just okay. I'm just keeping it at that stack as I'm mentally registering it. That's weird. Okay, you definitely get the polo blue. That's a strong fucking polo blue. That's like the fucking strong. Oh, that's like the strongest polo blue. Oh, this one's a little weird. It's kind of messy. This is how it works in the fragrance space. And I don't know if it happens to you guys. Like when I look up notes and you mention particular notes that you don't smell and then you mention it and you're like, yeah, I totally picked that up. If I didn't know it was polo blue and Grand Tour, there's no way I would have picked those two particular one in here. But now that I know, I can really smell them both. Like the memory and the brain, the way that's working and putting these two together. Definitely, this is weird. I just can't picture Polo Blue trying to be dark. That's what it is. It's like Polo Blue being possessed by the devil or being corrupted by evil powers. It's weird. It's very weird. It's not off-putting. It's just weird to my brain. Like my psyche is not knowing how it's supposed to feel internally. With this fragrance, like you get the Polo Blue essence. You get this fresh out of the shower, mass appealing. So three proofs of purchase at Macy's and get a full Polo Sport duffel bag. But then you're adding this strong, ambery sweetness to this blue aquatic, making it darker from its freshness. I don't know, I gotta, I'm gonna have to, I don't wanna spray it on skin cause it's just so weird, but I have to see what it does on skin cause that paper is just, it's, it's as confused as I am. All right, here we go. Okay, well I mean way better on the skin, but still confusing. It's actually a lot better on the skin. But the MFK is so minuscule off the skin. But Grand Soir's pretty amberiness is just like 15 to 20% in there. The Polo Blue, oh, am I not? Am I really getting ghost pimples? I feel like shit in my back, but my face ain't showing. Ooh, I'm getting, this is doing something to me. Hmm, this is weird. All the massive hairs on my back are kind of standing on their edges. Look, oh fuck. What the hell's going on? I'm confused about it, but my body, my image, my aura, my life, 
likes this shit on my skin. I got fucking goose pimples for God's sakes. I don't know how I feel about it other than I like it on my skin. I like that it gave me goosebumps. Like that shit is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna, I have a final determination here for you guys. Royal Chariot of the Tux, number one, is gonna sell out. I love this, um, that's wearing that today. Black Widow's Collateral Damage, which I got no Killian Black Phantom, only on full dry down. Right now, sweetness, that maraschino cherry is still prevalent. It's reduced a significant amount and you're starting getting a little bit of a brummy chocolatiness from the Killian's Black Phantom. This becomes a lot better on the dry down. So this one I'm gonna have to put in the number three spot because this one gave me full goose pimples. This polo blue with Grand Soir. Still, it's weird to even say, but I'm gonna have to put in the number two spot because of the reactions that I got and I, I, I fucking like this fresh. This is weird. Number two and the Casino Caribbean Elixir, number four. I'll put a link in the description description for these particular fragrances. You can find them on Dua. I know that they're doing a Halloween sale. I believe it's like 33% off, which is probably one of the higher discounts that they offer. For me personally, although this gave me goose pimples, the Tux and Layton clone is where it's at. And this one on the drive down, the Black Widow, I'm starting to enjoy this one more. If you're liking a freshy, weird combination that might give you that same visceral reaction, then another blue crater. This is actually a fun experience. I'm not gonna hold it. That Royal Chariot of the Tux, that shit slaps. That's a 100 ml cop, easy. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description. Shout out to Dua for sponsoring today's video and sending me these pieces for review. Let me know which one calls your attention. Watch some of y'all motherfuckers be like, I like the polo blue Grand Suar idea. Leave it to my ball spurs to be burnouts like me. Hope I keep this masculine voice. Smooches. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.